Go to one that involves a Big East team, and that is Seton Hall with Shaheen Holloway. Uh, an interesting matchup with Monmouth, a big line, 20 and a half for the Seton Hall Pirates, a line of 135 and a half. We do not have an official play uh, from either handicapper, but mid-major, Matt, I want to begin with you about Holloway, Seton Hall, a lot of expectations. They are at home. They are a big favorite in this game. Thoughts here, nothing official, but thoughts here, mid-major, Matt? Well, Shaheen Holloway obviously has a lot of experience going against Monmouth uh, being in that conference earlier, so that's certainly something that will help, although this is a Monmouth team that lost all five starters and pretty much has no one back who averaged more than 13 minutes. Uh, so this is a completely new Monmouth team for the most part. Seton Hall's got a lot of new pieces, too, so it'll be interesting to see how both of these teams kind of gel a little bit. Obviously, Seton Hall's home. I don't, you know, if, that, if I believed more in the Seton Hall core, they've also got some injuries, too, that we have to watch out for for Seton Hall. So, you know, normally I would lean to the team that's at home in this situation with the big number, but there's a lot of question marks uh, with the Pirates still, so that's why it, it wasn't a play, but Monmouth could be uh, bad early on, to say the least. All right, interesting. Matty Cox, any thoughts here? How about an initial thought on how will Holloway do taking the big step up? I mean, obviously, the great run with St. Francis last year. He's a former player at Seton Hall. Now there's serious expectation. There's a spotlight on him. What do you think about this at the beginning of the season for Shaheen Holloway as the coach and the program? Yeah, we'll see what's, what they look like when they're fully healthy, but uh, Holloway's been bemoaning the injuries and illnesses they've had all offseason, kind of cautioning against a slow start. I think once he gets all his horses back and up to speed, um, he's ready to go. I think he inherits a roster that's very much built like the one he had at St. Peter's. Um, tenacious defensively, long, athletic. I think they're going to be great on the defensive end. The offensive side of the ball, we'll see. Um, I don't know if they have enough shooting, uh, shot making to really have a balanced attack on both ends. But I think he's going to be uh, long-term the right solution. In this game tonight, I think it could be a bloodbath. I'm with Major Matt in this one. I think Monmouth, too many new pieces. Uh, King Rice does not sound very excited about his group this year. But then again, I mean, we saw Coppin State getting a lot of points, hang right in with Georgetown the whole game, get the game into overtime. As we mentioned, Ryder against another Big East team, Providence, take it right to the wire. Uh, at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Rhode Island uh, before losing by one. As much as we may just be dismissing Monmouth, maybe they hang in, maybe they keep it close, maybe not. Again, no official play uh, from the handicappers on this one, but we figured it was a good game to talk about.